Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Johnson, the Events and Catering Manager at Creighton Farms. I'm here to show you today how to have some fun with bubble art. You only need a few things, I'm sure you have at your house. You want to get uh, your favorite paint, you can use acrylic, but I use craft paints and it's washable. You want to gather some straws. I have um, some bendy plastic straws because I have multiple colors and if you're doing it with multiple family members, you want to get your own straw. You want to get a bowl or a container to put your solution in. This is what you'll be blowing the bubbles into. And then for mess free purposes, I like to use a jar. You put your bubble solution in the jar and you shake it with your paint. Now for your bubble solution, you can either make it yourself, which is one part water and one part soap, or you can just have normal bubble solution. It'll work. So what we'll do is you'll take a jar or a bowl. You'll add your paint. I already added a little bit of the blue to see how dark it was going to be, but you can always add a little bit more to make it darker. Now the lighter the color, the lighter the bubbles are going to be. So my blue compared to my yellow is a big difference. And then you just want to shake. You want to put your solution, your colored solution, into your bowl. And you take your straw. This is very important. Don't blow in. You want to blow out, just like you're making big bubbles. And you'll take your paper. I decided to use cardstock because it's strong enough. You can use it on both sides if you want and you just lightly press your paper onto your bubbles. And so you can do this with multiple colors. I have pink and yellow as well, so I'll show you the yellow. So this is a bit lighter. You can do this multiple times if you like, or if you would like a stronger color, use a darker color. And what I like to do is afterwards, after you let it dry, it dries fairly quickly because it is soap. You can do different backgrounds or different kinds of photos. First one I did was a bit of a landscape. I'm not an artist, but here are my flowers uh, with my clouds and I put a little sun. And then I also made a fun little under the water, under the sea photo. So you can practice as much as you want. If you have cardstock, you can do it on both sides. If you have white paper, I would just put a piece of paper underneath of it so it doesn't soak onto your counter. So there's endless possibilities. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this and I hope, can't wait to see your bubble creations.